The lab here in Belfast is responsible for a product called AMP, the API monetization platform. What it does is it allows enterprises and service providers to expose the, um, the assets, the capabilities within their enterprise to third-party software developers. So if you were a retail store of some kind, perhaps a Best Buy or whatever, then perhaps you could give um, third parties access to your catalog and pricing information so that they could create mashups that compared your products and the pricing of your products with those of competitors. So price comparison sites, for example, could be based on that. If the enterprise is a service provider, a, a mobile operator like a Vodafone or an Airtel, then we can allow third parties to get access to location information, uh, the ability to send and receive text messages, the ability to set up and clear down voice calls. Um, and that can create some really interesting uh, applications and services. One of the examples I like was, uh, was an application I discovered uh, on a visit to the US a few years ago. Uh, I was meeting a friend for lunch um, in a restaurant and he was traveling from further north in California and was running late. And he sent me a text message which had a, a URL in it, a, a link. Um, I didn't know what it was, but when I clicked on it, it took me to a website for an application called Glimpse. And on that website, I could see a map um, of the local roads. I could see a blob that was his car traveling towards me. And I could see a status display in real time of how long it was going to take him to get there, given the speed he was currently traveling, traveling at and the, the traffic conditions. And it tracked him all the way till he appeared outside the, the door of the restaurant, you know, zero seconds, there he was looking in the window at me. It's a trivial but exciting example. Um, but if you take something like that, um, you can use elements of that to create something much more elaborate. So if you were uh, a company charged with prov perhaps providing um, maintenance for oil pipelines or gas pipelines or, or some kind of widely distributed operation, then you might want some kind of ability to track uh, the presence of all of your and location of all of your vehicles, of all of your engineers, um, of all of the sites where you hold stocks and spare supplies. So in the event perhaps that a pump perhaps in a, in a pipeline fails and it somehow can communicate that it's failed, then you can quickly work out where the engineer with the right skills um, is located, where the part, the spare part to replace it might be, where the vehicle is to take them there. Put all of those things together and you can have the right person, the right part in place uh, really efficiently. So better service at lower cost. So we're only just starting to see, if you like, the first glimpses of the kinds of things that we can create uh, with this ability to expose APIs to third parties.